Tennis competed at the ITA USTA Texas Regional Championships at Rice University last Tuesday. Junior Nico Agritelli suffered a first round defeat to come back with three victories claiming the consolation draw title in the championship. Hunter Holman, Sebastian Langdon, and Josh Sheehy also won at least one consolation draw for the Wildcats. Many of the consolation matches in the women's tournament at College Station were canceled because of rain. But sophomores Lucille Potier and Casey Hermsdorf each won their first main draw singles, reaching the round of 32 where they lost the competition. Junior Aaron Walker beat the University of Incarnate Word Sarah Saavedra in the first round of consolations, but was unable to play any further because of rain. Soccer was looking to clinch the number one conference spot last weekend when the team faced Sam Houston State University, but had to settle with a 2-2 tie. Junior Kate Say put the Wildcats on the board in the 70th minute from an assist from Megan Baer and Dylan Owens. Owens then gave the Cats the lead in the 72nd minute with a goal that deflected off a of Bearcats defender. Sam Houston stole the lead in the 82nd minute after an intercepted pass was shot past ACU's goalkeeper. The tie moves the Wildcats down to third place in Southland standings. The Wildcats lost a crucial game 2-0 on Tuesday, which knocked them out of contention for the conference champions. Stephen F. Austin was first in conference play with seven wins, no losses, and two ties, and this win solidified their spot. The Wildcats are now competing for third place in the conference and will get the chance to improve their record to seven wins, two losses, and two ties. The last game of the 2015 season is scheduled to take place on Friday at Elmer Gray Stadium against the University of Incarnate Word. Volleyball completed its final homestand of the season with a 2-1 record. The Wildcats began the long weekend with a 3-1 victory over New Orleans, ending a two-game losing streak. Sophomore Corinne Grancolis recorded a career-high eight blocks in her first home match of the season. The team pushed its win streak to two when it took care of southeastern Louisiana in straight sets 3-0. Senior Madison Hoover dug out 19 kill attempts, becoming the on only the second Wildcat to break the 1600 dig mark. In the final game of their homestand, the Wildcats were unable to overcome Nickel State, falling in four sets on senior night and breaking a five-match home winning streak. Senior Jenny Lurch contributed a career-high 24 kills, but as a team, ACU was held to a 120 hitting percentage over the four games. The team returns to action on Halloween against Incarnate Word, beginning a season-ending five-match road trip. The Wildcats currently sit in fifth place in the Southland Conference standings at 6-5. That's all for this week's JMC Network Sportscast. I'm Jonathan Rates. And I'm Hannah Nall.